Hi Aries, welcome to your spirit messages for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aries, I decided to bring this series back. If you're familiar with my channel, I did uh, do this series last end of last year into maybe January, discontinued it for a while. But if you did participate in the polls I had posted about a month ago on my community section, I asked uh, viewers to vote for the readings they would most like to see. And this was one of the readings that was voted to come back. So I'm bringing it back. So leave me some info down below, some replies, some comments, how you like this, and we'll see how it goes from here. So welcome Aries and hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. So we're going to pull three oracles from each oracle deck. So it'll be a total of nine. And then I'll use the tarot here to pull a one or two, uh, whatever's needed for each card for more clarity. At the end, I do have some prayer cards here. I actually purchased at the Dollar Tree. And I bought two sets. They were different, mixed them together. And I thought it'd be fun at the end to give you a little prayer or um, affirmation, however you like to see it. But these are religious in connotation. So if you're not comfortable with that, then you can always click off at that point. Or I'll pull one of those uh, for you at the end. So Aries, let's see what we have for you from Spirit. What Spirit wants you to know. What are Spirit's, Spirit's messages for you at this time. In Aries, everything you need to know is down below in the description box. In the pinned top comment. How to reach out for personal reading. Decks I'm using. Links to purchase them if interested. Um, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift. All that info is below. If you're not comfortable tipping or donating, exchanging energy through PayPal, through um, Super Chat, you can also do that only during the premiere. Super chat to open available for donations and tips, energy exchanges if you choose to. Also, your playlists are down below. Love in general if you'd like to go back. And I do consider all my readings timeless, so feel free. And if you do, thank you. So let's see what we have for you. Aries, 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 Aries. What are the messages for Aries? This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter, male or female watching. So we could get messages, guidance, uh, confirmation, or whatever here um, for you. So how re take it however you see fit. And again, uh, if something's not resonating, it's probably not your message. So only take the mes messages you feel like are uh, resonating for you. Sometimes it could be past, present, or future energy also. All right, for Aries. Aries, please. <clears throat> what are the messages most needed for Aries spirit, please, at this time? What do they need to know for Aries? What are the messages for Aries, please? Oh, and I guess it's these three. And let's see, Aries, what we have. We have memories. So you could be thinking back fun, fondly of things uh, from your childhood uh, or, you know, with loved ones, friends, family, whatever here. So memories here, making memories, making new memories, looking back fine, fondly on memories. <clears throat> adult children. So some of you could have adult children or maybe you are the adult child here. Heavenly signs. Wow. So, so some of you could be the adult child. And maybe you've just recently lost um, a parent figure or someone who was like a parent figure. And if you did, I'm sorry, but just know heavenly signs. They're probably with you, around you, sending you um, signs, symbols, little trinkets. Um, it could be songs. It could be anything here. So you are receiving signs and maybe the signs you receive makes you think back fondly of memories, makes you think of a memory with this person. And if some of you are a parent, maybe you've lost an adult children, so it could go either way. Um, or you're receiving support through your past over loved ones, ancestors, um, as you're raising your children or, you know, your adult children and making memories. Just know they're out, they are right there with you, your past over loved ones, as you're making these new memories with your adult children or you are the adult or whatever resonates for you here. So... Someone is around you, guiding you, sending you signs, supporting you. They're always with you. In your new memories that you're making, making you think back of memories by sending you signs. So however that resonates for you. Wow. Okay. Aries. So let's get three of these for you. Aries. Aries. 
Aries. <clears throat> or, you know, during this time of isolation, you know, quarantine, maybe you're, you know, Skyping, Facebooking, you know, whatever here, FaceTime um, with your parents, if you're the adult, our adult children. Now, just reminiscing about old times and things like that also. All right, so... Or if you haven't been doing that, maybe you've been getting signs or something and telling you, you know, to, you know, maybe get in touch with people you haven't in a long time, especially if you're just home here and thinking back finally on memories. And if you are thinking about uh, someone finally from the past you haven't in a very long time, it's probably a sign here to maybe reach out. You don't necessarily have to be, um, maybe it's someone you've known since childhood and you haven't seen or talked to them in a very long time and now you're both adults, you know, so however the resonate, however the meanings resonate for you. All right, so let's get three of these for you, Aries. What does Aries need to know right now? Three of these for Aries. Okay, I'm feeling one, two, and three. Let's see what we have. So I can't make this up. You see this? Sign from heaven, heavenly signs. Wow, I can't make this up. So <laughs> your loved ones in the spirit are waving hello and giving you reassurance that you're, you'll be all right. Wow. So if you're thinking of them, just know, you know, everything's going to be fine and they are with you. New idea. Your new idea is divinely guided and is meant to be shared with others. Continue to work on it as you are on the right path. Hmm. Okay. And then we have here balanced friendships. Your friendships work best when there's an equal share of giving and receiving. And I had felt that it could be even, like I said, someone you knew, maybe a childhood friend and now you're adults and you're thinking back finally, fondly of that person. You know, maybe it's a sign here to reach out and reconnect and bring balance back into the friendship. You know, maybe you have that idea of reaching out here, but you're receiving signs. It could be your passed over loved ones, you know, kind of nudging you. Hey, why don't you reach back out to this person? Bring balance back into the friendship. However, that resonates for you. So different meanings there. Or some of you could have a new idea. It could be, um, it could be a hobby. It could be a little side job it could be um, a little passion project whatever it is for you maybe it involves reaching out to someone from the past that you went to school with maybe you had this idea as children or as kids you know let the hey when we grow up let's do this and you know and maybe you know it was just a kid thing but now it's like you know what maybe i should reach out and see if we can actually bring this idea into fruition wow so <laughs> However it resonates for you. Sounds crazy, but hey, it happens. All right, so let's see. What else for Aries? What else for Aries? If it's not that, whatever new idea that you've been thinking about, thinking about venturing into, just know here uh, it's divinely guided and it actually could be the signs from heaven here, you know, from your past over loved ones. Here, you know, trying to guide you to go in that direction also to bring you balance in some way. All right, so let's get three of these for Aries. Three of these for Aries. Please, thank you so much. Cave, sanctuary. Two more, two more, two more. Meadow, vulnerability. <clears throat> what else for Aries? Dream time, creation. Wow. So, you know, I feel like for some of you, you had this dream as a child. And now you're an adult. And it's like, can I really create this into reality? Or is it just a dream? You know, maybe it's just a fantasy. Maybe it's too silly. Or maybe, you know, I'm getting like silly energy here. Maybe you think, oh, it's just a silly idea. But this is about creation. It's about being, you know, using your imagination and dreaming your that into reality. 
And, you know, we do have meadow here at vulnerability, but I'm getting a lot of growth expansion um, with the meadow here. And, you know, cave, sanctuary, you know, we're all kind of isolated right now. So this is kind of that energy. So while you're in this energy is the time now here to be vulnerable and to actually maybe bring forth in, you know, this creation into this new idea, creating it into a reality and becoming vulnerable and trying it out, see where it goes. Use this time to be creative while we're all kind of in isolation right now. Maybe some of you actually have, you know, a she shed, man cave, or maybe it's telling you it's time to create your own space for you. To have your own peace of mind, your own place to go for peace, harmony, um, where you can be you and do what you enjoy also. All right, so let's get, let's get some clarity on this Aries, on these messages. So a lot of different messages here. So take them at how they resonate for you. Messages, uh, guidance, advice, confirmation, whatever or however it resonates for you. So I do ask Aries, especially if you're new, feel free to check out my channel. You like what you see. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about five readings a month. Like I said, I do the spirit messages here and I also do a love reading. I do a general reading. I do, uh, I'm bringing back the singles reading for those who are single. And I do a bonus reading where we take a little look at love, a little bit of your life, and then advice for you for the future. So if you're interested in all that, uh, feel free. And if you do, thank you. So what is this memories about for Aries? What is this memories about for Aries spirit, please? Thank you so much for Aries, please. Some of the swords energy. So this is like needing, wanting to get out of something, but also getting caught. Sneakiness, energy, lies, deceit, or just rushing out of something. Like you just feel like you got to get out of something. You want to kind of get out without getting caught though. So why is that here for memories? Hmm. Why is that here for memories? Eight of Cups. So this is about walking away from things no longer fulfilling for you, but you always can walk to something more fulfilling. So we've got an, like two energies here of sneaking away and walking away. Huh. Why is that here? Queen of Pentacles, King or Queen. So stability, growth, expansion, um, practicality, abundance. It's like an offer here, being accepted. Maybe, you know, some of you, maybe you had a pact or something with an, a friend from childhood or an old friend or something here, but that instead of being true to that pact, you decided to go in your, your own way and go on a different path and accept or uh, conquer and go your own way. And now you have like this other offer or accepting something else here. I'm getting an energy of just like, you know, and you could be thinking back on that. Like, you know, why, why did I do that? Why did I walk away from this idea? Or why did I uh, turn my back on it? Go in this other direction because I thought there was more stability and growth and expansion. And maybe there was. But you would never know what would have come of this other idea if you would have stayed. So it's like looking back like on the memory on, the, on that idea, like, gee, I wonder what would have happened if we would have stuck it through instead of turning my back and walking away into going in another direction. Because maybe you didn't trust this idea or whatever here. So, I mean, however that makes sense for you, maybe you just didn't trust something like it probably wouldn't have worked out anyway. So you just decided to turn your back on it and go for something more stable, whatever that means for you. But I feel like now you're looking back like, hmm, I wonder, I wonder. So we have adult children. So as an adult, you could be like wondering, you know, what would have happened, like doing a life review. Um, judgment here can be about forgiveness, resurrection, um, 
making a final decision or a judgment call. <clears throat> so you could be thinking now as an adult, I wonder if, you know, I can be forgiven. Can we resurrect this? Can we make, you know, can I, you know, making that final decision to reach out, ask for forgiveness, can we resurrect it? So, wow, judgment here. Wow. So judgment always reminds me of divinely guided energy, bringing something divinely guided back into you. If you decide to make that judgment call. So, so I think spirit wants you to know probably to reach out and ask for forgiveness. All right. So. What is this heavenly signs about? So we have the King of Cups and we have the Two of Wands energy. So the King of Cups is about, you know, love, emotions, feelings, uh, spiritual energy. It's like receiving energy and then putting it back out. But the Two of Wands is like being at a crossroads and needing to choose a path. But and this is the after tarot. So this is like, the path has been chosen and now going down that path together, making plans, decisions for the future. So this could, you know, be you being in this compassionate energy and trusting the universe and that spiritual energy coming and flowing into you and ready to pour it back out into the world or with this person. And now here, you know, are the two people and it could be a relationship or whatever it is here, whatever dynamic it is for you. And now choosing the path, and going down that path together and making plans and decisions for that uh, path. And it could be, you know, you receiving the heavenly signs here and ready to reach out. You see the pouring out of the water, ready to reach out and express yourself. All right, so, or someone to you, however that resonates for you. So let's see what sign from heaven. Sign from heaven is about. So we have the Eight of Swords and we have the uh, Lovers here. So the Eight of Swords here is about mental entrapment being stuck in your head or stuck in general, but now being freed. So I feel like, and here's the Lovers, but you have like this heavenly energy. You know, the Lovers can be about, you know, soulmates or soulmate energy. It doesn't necessarily have to be a lover or making a choice. So you could be actually getting downloads and signs from maybe someone that you love dearly that passed over that's helping you to unblock or, un, you know, helping you to be unstuck of a situation, getting out of your head, choosing a path that's divinely guided for you, more aligned with you. So I feel like these signs are helping you break free and helping you to move in the right direction that's more suited for you however that uh, means for you. So it could be in this uh, energy of this new idea here. And again, it could be, I mean, it could be anything. It could be, you know, reconnecting with someone from the past, from your childhood. All right, so Aries, 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 Aries. What is this new idea about for Aries? Queen of Swords. So this is, always reminds me of divine energy, divine intervention, bringing truth and clarity. And this is, you know, king or queen doesn't matter, but it's all about having truth and clarity, seeing things for what they are, cutting away things no longer serving you, telling it like it is, not taking any BS, open, honest, truthful communication. So this could be in the new idea is that clarity and, you know, the swords is all about the mind, ideas, creation, thoughts. So this could be like an epiphany of a new idea or thinking back because the swords are all about, you know, like thinking and ideas. So thinking back on the past, of the, an idea of the past, having truth and clarity now. All right, so what is this balanced friendships about? What is this balanced? So we have the five of swords. So maybe somebody, maybe somebody from the past, you know, it could have been a lot of imbalance where somebody was more all up in their head, more all about them. Maybe somebody was more concerned about them and, you know, being selfish other than 
maybe you kind of energy. So why is the five of swords here? That's sort of like getting ahead at all costs, no matter what. So what is this five of swords about for this balanced friendship? Death. So letting, so maybe somebody here ended a friendship in the past because there was a lot of imbalance. There was a lot of one upping one another. Maybe somebody was very selfish. And uh, so somebody may have ended a friendship here and just moved on. So what else for balanced friendships? Nine of Pentacles. So being stable, secure, independent. Um, <clears throat> so you probably moved on and, um, you know, you're feeling secure, grounded, independent, can take care of yourself, having everything you need kind of energy. In a Nine of Cups energy. So two, so now we have two like independent energies. So I feel like friends parted ways, maybe because of all that energy I just mentioned. See, somebody's overindulging here. So somebody was very selfish in this friendship. But we have balanced friendships here. So if there's a friendship that is not balanced, someone's very being very selfish and greedy and egotistical, maybe time here to let it go by the wayside, let it end. Because like it says, balanced friendships only work when they're balanced. So that could be a separate message for some of you. All right. But I do feel like for some of you, if you feel like you need to reach out from friends of the for two friends of the past, um, bring balance back in. You know, reach out. Some of you maybe time to end friendships that are out of balance, where there's just too much selfishness, greediness, and uh, that kind of energy. So what is this sanctuary about for cave? Wow. So we have. Eight of Wands, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands. So being, you know, like I said, we're all in this sanctuary right now where we're isolated, quarantined, or it's time for some of you to create your own space, your own sanctuary, because we have divinely guided energy here. We Wheel of Fortune, fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in a better direction where you can create. Eight of Wands here is about fiery passion, action, movement, travel, creative manifesting creative ideas taking that action forward to turn this wheel into this brand new fiery passionate beginning here a new endeavor project um hobby or a new way of living a new um even career entrepreneurship kind of energy a space where you can create your brand new beginning here wow okay you can finally move forward two cards are moving forward so what is this vulnerability about for Aries? Aries with the meadow, the meadow, page of cups. So that could be, you know, apologies, just loving communication of some kind, love, compassion. Uh, it could be a love offer. Somebody could be becoming vulnerable now with you and coming forward with a love offer of some kind or an apology. Finally opening up. Could be this friend over here finally opening up and being more compassionate and loving and actually apologizing. Or it could be somebody actually now coming forward with love to you. They know you broke your, they broke your heart at one time, but I feel like you recovered from that and now they actually want to work on it for some of you. They know you put yourself out there before to them and they broke your heart, but now they're coming through to apologize, saying, okay, I do have emotions and feelings. Can we work on it? Can we bring stability into you know into this? They're ready to be vulnerable. It's not a lover. It could be a friend. They want to heal and mend things. Build slowly, working on something new. Mastering something. So what is this dream time creation about for Aries? So being indecisive. Yeah, I feel like you're indecisive about this creative idea. Or creating this idea into reality. But now here's balance. Healing and balance. Equality. So whatever you create here, whatever you want to dream into reality here, it will bring in 
balance, financial balance, material balance, healing. Oh. What else for Aries? <laughs> Happiness and joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing. Happiest, greatest card in the deck here. So victory, total accomplishment here. Happy home and family, everything positive. Dreaming this creation into reality. Wow. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, you're a little bit uh, worried, stress, fear, anxiety here. But you could slay that dragon and get over this energy to your success and victory here. Wow. Okay, Aries. Where are we at? 25 minutes. So it's a little bit longer, but I feel like the messages were needed. So however it resonates for you, Aries, that's what Spirit wants you to know. So let's get a prayer affirmation for you, Aries. What do we have for Aries? Spirit, please, thank you so much. What prayer ooh, affirmation <clears throat> do we have for Aries? What prayer or affirmation do we have for Aries? Spirit, please, okay, this one. Whatever you do, do it with all your heart. Exactly. So <laughs> if you choose to go down this path here, do it and do it with all your heart because you have a lot of positive cards here. A lot of new beginnings and the most positive card in the deck with the sun. Wow, Aries. Okay, Aries, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.